Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm here with a project for the Cutting Cafe. This time we were focusing on the various milk cartons that are offered at the Cutting Cafe. And the one that I chose to use is the Halloween and Fall milk carton. There's also a plain milk carton and then there's also one with assorted shapes that um, have different shapes that you could cut out for the window. So, I used the fall theme and used the tree, and there is another tree version that is in this file too, so there are a couple different options for trees, and then um, the file does include some Halloween cutout shapes too, like pumpkins and not sure the other ones, but um, I'll have the link below to um, the file and the other milk curtain files that we were able to use, and I just want to say before I get too far into it, make sure that you check out the blog on the 7th and the 21st, 7th and the 21st, excuse me, of every month because that's when the design team posts go up. And leave a comment because number one, we love hearing your comments or reading your comments. And then number two, Regina always pulls from the comments that were left on the next post and one lucky person each post wins three files of their choice so um, you can't beat that so check us out and without further ado here's my project I used some die cuts with a view paper and I've been using this paper a lot and this paper comes from the very first paper stack that I bought when I started crafting in 2009 we'll start at scrapbooking but it's a blast from the past Indian Summer Fall Stack from Die Cuts with the View. It's probably one of my favorite stacks still. And there is 2009. So um, I've used probably that stack of paper the most um, of any stack. It's probably got the least amount of sheets left in it. But um I had never used this particular paper, had been hoarding it. Really love this paper. It's a um, houndstooth print. It is in yellow and orange with gold glitter. And so I cut out the tree file here and I backed it with some vellum. Then I just did a flower cluster and I stickled the flowers with, I believe, diamond stickles. And then I used some pearls from my Three Birds goodie box, one of them. Here is an acorn that came from um, the bag of table scatter along with the this leaf. Um, there were table scatters that were from Michael's last last fall. So there were like pumpkins, um, acorns, leaves. So I just thought that added an additional dimension to the flower cluster. And then up here, just use some um, kind of light orange bling. And then uh, a little bow. That was in the Michaels Dollar Bin a few years back, a couple of years, and then a pearl there. The file comes with a piece that you could cut out to fold over the top, which is what I've done. On the side, I just added another leaf, and then I added gold glitter tape around the bottom to give it just a little contrast. On the back, more of the light orange bling and a pearl and the other side is the same so that's my project and actually you could use this to fill it up with goodies to give to someone or what I'm using it for is just part of fall decorations for my office at work so head on over to the blog check out all the blog posts and see the awesome variety that the team comes up with. And if you want to see some close-up shots, you could visit my blog, which is SoGoodCrafter.com, and that's S-E-W, not S-O. 
Thank you so much for watching, and you have a great and very blessed day. Bye-bye.